Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with custom text inside Cinema 4D. Uh, for example, uh, if you found a nice a little design online, in my case, I found this uh, all roads lead to uh, metal uh, logo. And for instance, I like some of these letters that I want to reuse somewhere else. Uh, what you can do is load up uh, this image as a reference and trace some of these letters and uh, recreate them inside the 3D program. Uh, or you can also, if you want to, you can start uh, with text and obviously you have all your fonts available here. And uh, for example, you want to do uh, Citra Small and from here you can type in any word you want. Also, let's do uh, Bot and then you can just click C, uh, make it active, go all your points. And then from here, you can customize uh, the text you know, to your liking. What I like doing is uh, taking a reference or even a sketch that you did and uh, bring it inside. And then from there, you can trace it and uh, you know, extrude it and make a nice text out of it. And uh, since all of the letters are going to be separate, as you can see here, you can move them around, rescale them, and uh, reshape them as you like. Uh, but let me just start from scratch. Uh, let me just delete all of this, and I'll show you. Uh, how to work with splines or basically creating any uh, you know letter forms you like uh, so as you can see i already have in my top view i already have the logo or the design loaded up as my background uh, the way you do that is go to options uh, configure and you go to back it's going to give you it's going to throw you to display tab first but just click back and over here where it says image you can click these three little dots and load up your design there and transparency is controlled right here. Uh, you can uh, dim it down or keep 100% opaque and uh, you know whatever you like in terms of tracing your design. Uh, but from here, all you have to do is uh, select your pen tool. And I'm not going to do the A uh, again. I just did it before. So let me just pick a different letter. Uh, for example, you want to do this L. Uh, you like uh, you know the way the shape looks. Uh, so let me just outline it real quick. Uh, don't worry about the curves just yet. Uh, just try to minimize the points and outline uh, the letter form all around. So just like this. Uh, try not to add too many points. Uh, try to keep it to the minimum. Uh, just like if you're familiar with Illustrator, uh, the less points you have, the better uh, curves you will have. So try not to overdo uh, with the points. Try to keep as uh, less detail as possible. So I'll leave you on here, 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 and we're almost done. So as you can see, I just quickly outlined uh, this, this letter form uh, with the pen tool. And now all we have to do is uh, play around with the points uh, by right clicking on them and make sure you have your pen tool selected. You can do soft tangent or hard tangent. Uh, so in this case, we have a curve. So I right click uh, soft. As you can see, it basically uh, pops into place right away. And if you want to play around with the handles, you can just click on a point and adjust it to your liking. Uh, let's continue. So I'm going to right click on this point soft. Uh, let's bring this down. And it's already following the curve uh, pretty nicely. Uh, so let's move on up. Uh, let's do the same thing here. Soft, soft. I'll just put it in place. Extend this this uh, handle a little bit. And let's see. Let's check in here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's do the same thing here. Soft. And that's following the curve pretty nicely. And if you don't like a point, you can always uh, delete it. Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, go back to your life selection tool, select it and just hit delete and it will delete that point, you know, for, you know, in case you have too many points, for example. Uh, so let's take this point. You can do the same thing with the life selection tool. You can right click and do a uh, so soft interpolation, uh, but I like to stay inside the uh, pen tool. It just, it gives you less options and you can uh, play around and drag uh, your points uh, easily. So it looks like we do need one more uh, point in there. Or what else we can do is we can take this point, uh, move it closer to the uh, to the curve here, and just play around 
and see if we can get uh, we can get away with just using one point and we can uh, so that's why I said you know don't try to overdo with the points uh, let's do the same thing here right click soft uh, tangent and something like this is good uh, this one's a little bit off uh, let's move it in here uh, right clicked soft uh, move it into spot and as you can see uh, the shape is really coming along nicely uh, we just finish this up so I don't think we need uh, three points in here we can probably get away with two uh, so I'm going to delete this one uh, move this one inside the position here go back to the pen tool uh, right click soft right click soft and it's already popping in nicely we basically don't even have to do much just maybe move the handle a little bit uh, same thing here well, let's try with the the two points go back to uh, the pen tool let's do soft in here soft in here and uh, cinema 4d is pretty smart when it comes to splines uh, most of the time it will just pop right in uh, based on your uh, image here and in this case I'm not sure if it's uh, rounded in here or not uh, what you can do is select these two points right click and go chamfer and just round them out uh, just like that and over here is like a little strange uh, rounding so I want to make sure it's really nice same thing in here let's do soft and line this up better that looks better and now let's just continue uh, let's go down in here uh, this looks pretty good we can probably get away with one uh, point in here so we just delete and move this one to the middle of the of the bottom of the L and just do soft and that looks pretty good we just play around with the handles and let's continue right click soft right click soft and that's pretty good same thing in here we just move it inside the position here in this case we have to add one more point and to add a point you just hold control and as you can see it gives you that cut uh, icon and then you just click and add a point uh, so let's do soft and it pops right in we don't have to do much uh, same thing in here soft extend the handle uh, hold the control at one more point soft and that looks good and we're almost done you just have this point here soft move this maybe a little bit closer and move this up as you can see we just completed uh, the whole outline of uh, the letter form and you can continue obviously uh, with your design and outline everything or maybe uh, like I said you want to start with the font and uh, start adding points and reshaping your uh, letter form like that it's really up to you uh, but now we can just jump back in to the model mode and let's see how our letter form looks so this is what it looks like and now let's drop it inside uh, the extrude and it's on the wrong axis so we have to change it from Z to Y and as you can see uh, we're getting really nice uh, L no breaks nice and clean anyway guys hopefully this video helped in any way uh, have fun creating your own little text inside Cinema 4D and I will see you in my next video guys have a good one goodbye